Today let's discuss what is manifest.xml file in Android. Android manifest.xml file contains informations about your package including the components such as activities, services, broadcast receivers, content providers, etc. That is, it contains informations of your package. Okay. Every application project must have Android manifest.xml. We have discussed about that in the introduction. That is what uh, it is an important component. Every project must have Android manifest.xml file. Okay. It performs some other tasks. It is responsible to protect the application. It declares the Android API. It lists the instrumentation classes. Okay. Manifest file helps to declare applications package name, components such as activities, services, broadcast receivers and content providers, the permissions that the application needs and the hardware and software features. So these for these all manifest.xml file is required. Okay. So this is a simple Android manifest.xml file. Manifest, you have to open the tag and at the end we are closing the tag. Okay, HTML tag. And the package name we have to say Android version code and Android version name. And here many other things are there. So that is being discussed in the following. So manifest you have to write and then package name, Android version and version code and Android version name. And at the end manifest tag we have to close. Okay. So in the manifest application components are there, right? So this, these points we have discussed before, that is activity, service, receivers and content providers. Okay, so these are the application components of XML, manifest.xml file. Next item of the manifest file is intent filter. We have already discussed what is an intent and what is intent filter. An intent is a message defined by an intent object and it describes the actions to be performed. That is an intent. Okay. How to handle the intent? That is actually depending on the intent filters. That is intent filters are selecting the intents which are to be handled. Okay. Next is icons and labels. We know. That is in the application, if you are providing WhatsApp, okay, so an icon will be there for WhatsApp, an icon will be there and below that it is written WhatsApp. So icon is a symbol and label is a text which is written below it. And permissions, that is the next item. That is Android apps must request permissions for what? For accessing contacts, SMS, and camera, internet access, etc. Okay, so for that, permissions are required. Next is device compatibility. For that, the first one is users feature and the next is users SDK. Users feature declares hardware and the software features your application needs. And uses SDK says the minimum version with which your app is compatible. It, it says the minimum version and also it says the target version also. So the version of the operating system should be above this minimum version. Okay, and it goes up to the target version. So that is uses SDK. So this is device compatibility. It says about the hardware and software features and the versions. Okay. Here is an example which includes all the set items. Okay. That is manifest. You have to open 
package name, version code and version name and then users SDK. So what the users SDK says, it says a minimum version and the target version. Okay. And then application icon is there, label is there, theme is there. Okay. And then activity, activity, service, content provider, everything, broadcast receivers, everything we have to explain. Okay. So activity here, activity name is there, main activity and intent filter. See, intent filter, action and category. And then close the intent filter, close the activity tag, close the application tag and close the manifest tag. So this is an example of Android manifest.xml file. Okay, that is manifest.xml is an important file which should come in all Android applications and it includes users SDK, applications and within the applications activities are there, services there, content provider and broadcast receivers are there and then intent filter is there. Okay, so at the end you have to close all one by one. In today's class we have discussed the importance of manifest.xml file in Android project. In all projects, manifest.xml file is required. Okay, and it includes applications and within applications, activities, content providers, broadcast receivers and services will be there. Uses SDK, uses features. Okay, everything is included in manifest file. It says the full idea about the project. So that is manifest.xml file. That is the importance of that because it says everything. That's it. Okay. So this is an important question. Hope it was clear for you. Thank you.